Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. So I'm currently um, cinching down or tying down my um, skidster here. I want to show you guys a product that I've had for a while now, um, but I've been putting it through its paces, checking it out, seeing how well it works. Um, what this is called is speed binders, okay? And let me tell you, it's a world of difference. So I have the originals, the red handle style um, chain ratchets, uh, and it works fine, but it just takes a lot of time to, you know, undo them and put them on. So um, as you guys can see, all my chains are loose. I have four chains all the way across here. Uh, I want to show you guys how this works. Um, there's actually a, a nut right here that you can put a socket on. So I just use a drill gun, right? No problem. And I think I'm using, yeah, 9 16 uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. 9 16 uh, socket. So all we do is put it on there, right? And that one's, so I don't go all the way tight right away. What I want to do is kind of walk around and get everything kind of snugged up first. So um, here's the other two over here. So let's go ahead and cinch that one up. Okay, very quick. They picked the correct name for their speed binders. We're just getting them, um, you know, kind of where we need them first of all before we, um, sorry, before we uh, um, really center down. Now, what I do notice is um, before when I was using my other um, ratchet ones, um, the red handle style, um, I was actually tightening them so tight that I was actually over tightening them. In fact, I don't know if you guys can see this. So here's my rail for the side of my trailer. So you guys see how the meadow is bent up right there? Um, this one too over here. They're all bent up. That's because I was over tightening them. You know, because I was concerned about the machine sliding around or moving on really rough terrain. And so I was really cinching her down, you know. Um, but it was, you know, overkill. So with these, you know, you just put them on and... And it's that easy, you know. So... What I'm going to do is start back where I was one last time because we kind of got them all where we need to be really quick and to undo them it's really fast too right so I mean so I'm using it with one hand here but normally it's two hands but that one's pretty much tight already oh yeah perfect I'm, I'm obviously going to put two hands on this so it doesn't twerk on my left hand here um, but basically I just go until um, the gun cannot go anymore um, and that seems to be, I'm not using an impact gun because I'm scared of maybe, I don't, I don't know, maybe stripping out the mechanism here. So instead of using a impact, I'm just using a regular drill gun. And that seems to work out perfect. And they do make them really nice and tight. So yeah, if you guys are interested, definitely check out Speed Binders. Um, when they shipped here to Hawaii, uh, I know it cost them a little bit more money to ship them because they're they're kind of heavy. Um, you know, I mean, they put them in a flat rate box and stuff, but they're, they're still heavy to ship and stuff. And, um, you know, the company could have said no, you know, not to ship it. Um, but, you know, the company was a great company. In fact, they reached out to me after they shipped it to me. And they said, hey, uh, you know, uh, we really didn't make anything on it because of the shipping that was so high to bring it, you know, to ship it to me. But they said they wanted to go ahead and ship it anyway. And so, Speedbinder guys, if you guys are listening, if you guys are watching this, I want to say thank you because this has made my life a lot easier loading and unloading machines you know no matter what i'm strapping down or tying down this is a world of difference you know uh and then also on these speed binders they do have a grease nipple so you can grease them um i obviously greased mine but yeah thanks guys um i really appreciate you guys sending it out anyway uh, makes a world of difference let me tell you especially at a, at a long day you know, when you're finished, obviously I'm getting ready to go to work um, for tomorrow morning. But, uh, you know, when you have a long day and you've been, you know, playing in the dirt or whatever it is, you're tired. You know, the last thing you want to do is start taking your time, ratcheting each one of these. You know, it takes time uh, when you can just slap this on and undo them and do them up real quick. So, yeah, definitely check them out, guys. You know, I've been using them now for, ooh, I don't know, probably... I think it's been like three months, maybe four months or more. Um, and I just kind of forgot to make a video on it. So since I'm loading up the machine, I figured, hey, 
let me show you. and i did purchase this guys so no they didn't give it to me i did purchase this um but yeah definitely check them out guys you know it, it, they're a good company they went out of their way to get me the product and they didn't have to you know so anyway guys thanks for tuning in uh see you guys on the next one